Hey everybody, it's David Matsumoto from Humantel. Today I thought I'd like to talk to you about uh, a recent research article of ours that just got published. Well, as everybody knows, we've been studying verbal and nonverbal expressions of all different types of mental states for over a couple of decades. But in the last 10 years or so, we've been studying the various conditions that affect whether truth tellers or liars are more or less communicative especially in investigative interviews. And most recently, we've been studying the effects of subtle psychological techniques that are designed to influence others to be more communicative. In all of these studies, we've been using what's called a mock crime paradigm. And in a mock crime paradigm, individuals who are participants in our studies come to our laboratory and then uh, commit a crime. And after they commit a crime or not, they are in an investigative interview where they're either telling the truth about what they didn't do or lying about what they did. So we often use a, a paradigm called a mock theft paradigm where people come to our laboratory and have to steal something or not. And then everybody is in an investigative interview afterwards and truth tellers just tell the truth, whereas liars have to lie. Everybody uh, is 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 needing to convince the interviewers of their honesty. So in this particular study, we examined the effects of perceptions of authority on information elicitation. And what's kind of interesting about this study is that how we manipulated authority was only through subtle cues in the environment of the investigative interview, just, just in the context. So for example, uh, people wore different things like a suit and tie or, or not, not a coat and tie. Uh, there were different kinds of posters uh, of law enforcement agencies or not on the wall, different types of certificates on the wall, or maybe different types of pictures on the wall. And it's just these different types of subtle cues that are in the environment that we, use to we used to manipulate authority, higher versus lower authority. And what's really interesting is that we did not do anything different in those conditions. That is, the interviewer, all, interviewers all said the same things in, the, in exactly the same ways, used the standard interview protocol. So the demeanor or the questions of the interviewers were not different. The only differences were the cues that were in the environment. And what we found was that the authority manipulation facilit facilitated more information elicitation, uh, but just for truth tellers, and not for the liars. So from the results of this study, we know that people who have nothing to hide, that is, those people who are just telling the truth, they tend to be influenced by these subtle techniques. But people who have something to hide, that is, the people who actually stole something and they were trying to, or had to lie about it, they were not as influenced by these techniques, at least in our study. So in the future, we plan to continue to study other potential techniques of social influence on information elicitation in these kinds of uh, interviews. So stay tuned for more updates about these and other studies in the future. And remember, if you like these videos, be sure to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the video. See you again. Thanks. Bye-bye.